So let's say we have log base b of x equals n. What you want to do is you want to change this into exponential form by doing the inverse operation. Just like when you work with squaring and square rooting, you know how those undo one another, or multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting. Those are all inverses and they reverse or undo or you know um, reverse out the, the process. So if we look at some graphs here, y equals 2 to the x, this is an exponential graph. See how it grows faster and faster? And we have y equals log base 2 of x. You can see this graph is growing slower and slower. But notice that these two graphs, they're inverses of one another, the reflections over the line y equals x. Okay, so if we understand that concept that exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverses of one another, we can use that to our advantage. So in this particular just generic example, this is log base b of x equals n. So the inverse of taking the log base b is to exponentiate both sides using base b. Now, exponential functions and logarithmic functions, these are inverses. As long as the bases are the same, they're going to undo one another. So we end up with here x equals b to the n. Okay, let's look at some examples and I'll show you how this works. So in this first example, log base 3 of 9 equals 2. This is a true statement. All we're going to do is we're just going to rewrite it. So for example here, what we're going to do is we're going to exponentiate using base 3. These are inverses and now you can see that 9 is equal to 3 squared, which is, which is of course true. We've just rewritten it in exponential form. Let's look at this example here. We've got log base 5 of 1 25th equals negative 2. So we're going to just do the inverse of taking the log base 5 of this side. We're going to exponentiate or raise both sides using the base 5. This is the inverse operation and we get 1 25th equals 5 to the negative 2. Now I've got